Welcome to Groveland Congregational United Church of Christ on this Ash Wednesday. I'm glad that you have decided to join us. Due to COVID, this Ash Wednesday is going to be a little bit different since we cannot gather in person to do the imposition of ashes. You have all been asked to have a container with dirt and a seed, and you will see how that develops as we go along. So I invite you now to take in the breath of God to prepare your hearts as we gather on this Ash Wednesday. Please join me now in our call to worship. Friends and neighbors, in the middle of our busy week, we pause to observe Ash Wednesday together as a faith community. We remember that God made us from fragile, blessed dust and breathed through us the breath of life and love. You are invited now to set your planter before you. From dust we are created in God's image, and to God's good dust we shall return. With dust and oil we claim the mark of God's beloved creature. You are invited now to push your soil down into your planter. Today we begin our 40-day Lenten journey to discover who we are created to be as God's beloved. In daily practices of prayer and service, we will embark upon this Lenten journey. We follow Jesus, God's beloved child, bone of our bone and flesh of our flesh, in whom we see God's image most clearly. 
So come, let us pray for strength and imagination to follow Jesus wherever he will lead us this Lent. Please now take your seed, put it in your planter, but do not push it down yet. Siblings in Christ, Lent is a season of reflection and waiting, but it's also an opportunity to stop and deeply reflect on where we are called to invest our time and, and energy more meaningfully. To reflect on ways we can truly and more deeply connect and grow with God, with our church, and with humankind. Please take your seed, which you have just planted in your planta, and read aloud the Breath of Life prayer below to that seed, taking time to meditate between each phrase. Reflect on God's presence with not just you, but with all living things. As you grow in your faith this season of Lent, watch as the seed grows with you. The seeds of faith are at work in many ways. And so now I invite you to settle in to your seat wherever you are, to get comfortable, close your eyes, and imagine a place that brings you comfort and peace. Breathe in the goodness of that space. Breathe forth the goodness that is within you. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. Have mercy, tender God, forget that I defied you, wash away my sin and cleanse me from my guilt. I know my evil well, it stares me in the face, evil done to you alone before your very eyes. How right your condemnation, your verdict is clearly just, you see me for what I am, frail, a sinner. You love those centered in truth, Teach me your hidden wisdom. 
Wash me with fresh water. Wash me bright and clean. Fill me with happy songs. Let the bones you bruise now dance. Shut your eyes to my sin. Make my guilt disappear. Creator, reshape my heart. God, steady my spirit. Do not cast me aside, stripped of your Holy Spirit. Save me, bring back my joy, support me, strengthen my will. Then I will teach your way and sinners will turn to you. Help me, stop my tears, and I will sing your goodness. Lord, give me words and I will shout your praise. Hear now the words of assurance and blessing. Know that God loves you, forgives you, welcomes you, and rejoices in you. Let the coolness of this water refresh and remind and reassure you of God's transforming love. Take your water and pour it over your seed. As you have planted this life, which has yet started this new life, which you have been called to care for, to nurture, to love, and to grow, say these words to yourself or those you are gathered with, reminded that through this time of Lent, this season of waiting, we, like the seed you are planting, will grow, will be nurtured, will have days we need more sunlight, more water, more care, but we will still grow. Some may grow faster, others may grow slower. Remember that you are God's beloved dust, and to God's beloved dust you shall return. Please take some time after you have planted your seed to feel the dirt on your fingers, reflecting on the work of God in your life from the moment that you were planted. May we give of ourselves as a symbol of our appreciation for receiving the mark of God's love in such a beautiful and meaningful way. As you have been given the mark of God's love, may you give in return.
Planter of life, we are called in this season to grow, to plant, to reflect, and to care in intentional ways. Take these gifts offered today and nourish them in your world. Help us care for them, help them grow, and be shared with your unending love in our church, our community, and your world. Amen. Blessings like God's love are not a one-way experience. As you have been blessed with the mark of God's love, you are now called to go out from this place and bless others. May the God who created you create opportunities of serving others. May the Christ who teaches you teach you during Lent how to love all. And may the spirit of gentleness be your companion along this Lenten journey. Amen.